Hello and welcome on this instruction on how to stop NVIDIA Shadowplay from changing your uh, beautifully placed uh, title and playing, what game you're playing, to something like uh, desktop pipe sign powered by NVIDIA GTX or whatever. I think they put it in as branding or something, but I mean, you pay for the product, so surely it should be fit for purpose, in my opinion, in any case. It's your every right to change it, so I'll show you how to do it. I can give you the patched executable file, but I'll just show you how to do it. So the first thing you need is uh, x64 uh, debugger. Yeah, you can see I uh, already uh, looked it up a few times. If you just go to the site, you can just download the file. That will take you to SourceForge, the second one and um, you can just download the most recent one. Uh, I used this one in my case, and then uh, it's a .7z file, so you will need a, a zip program like 7-zip or any other zip application that can uh, unzip .7z zip files. So once you've done that and you unzip the file, you will uh, see this in the unzipped uh, directory. You see, this directory and release, just open it up. You'd think this is the executable for the application itself, but it's not. Actually, this is uh, the settings uh, file, so the one you want. I'm assuming 64-bit here, so just go into the x64 directory, find the actual executable, which is x64dbg.exe within the released x64 directory. You wanna run that as an administrator, and click yes, and then you'll see the uh, the d debugger uh, hex editor disassembler uh, a program for uh, any of you that might have uh, known the old days where we used to use uh, OliDBG. This looks a lot like OliDBG, but x64dbg has the option to uh, open and edit 64-bit, so x86 64-bit uh, files. So that's really cool. What you want to do is you want to click uh, uh, the open sign here, or just go to file, uh, open. It's the same thing. On a 64-bit system again, which I'm assuming you have, you want to go to the directory where you installed um, <clears throat> the NVIDIA GeForce uh, experience. So I just installed it to the default directory, and that will end you up at your local disk program files, NVIDIA Corporation. Then you want to head into the shadow play directory and the file you will want to open is is this one nvspcap64.exe now you don't want to open this file direct directly at first first what you want to do is you want to go to the directory just using the windows explorer take the file find it and just make a copy of it control c control v you will get a, a, a copy of this file and you want to go ahead and edit this not the original one you want to keep uh, a copy of the original one you can see that i i did that as well i uh, copied it a few times so to make sure you always have the original one still there so we'll be editing the copy i just made here so you want to open uh actually i will be opening a copy of the original because the one i'm using i can't open it right now because I'm recording this using Shadowplay. Um, so I will open a copy of the original file. So th this will look the same as the one you uh, you will see. So this is what the file looks like um, uh, when it's open. What you want to do after you've opened the file is to press this button. Execute till return until it shows up top that you're in the module NVS P caps 64. Then when you're in that module, you right click somewhere in here and then you want to search for current module, string references, and it'll search all the string references in this uh, DLL or executable. And then once you get a list of all the strings that, that it has found, you want to filter for Howard and you will find powered by GeForce GTX, that dreaded string that we're trying to get rid of so you double click that and it'll take you to the place where this is called in the code and actually this bit is where Shadowplay sets your Twitch streaming title. 
So what we want to do is we want basically to skip past this entire bit because we're not interested in it. So we find the bit where it actually does the call to the to the external library to set the info, which is here. You can see it calls uh, it, it calls the file and the function is called nv gamecast set info, and here we can see a comment that was left. Uh, stream info set failed. So obviously in between here and here his The program is trying to set the information on your twitch channel What we basically want to do is we want to skip this. We, we don't want to do this and we want to skip to the point After this. so we want to jump to this memory address So what you do is you right click on this memory address and you say you want to copy address and then you go back to the line where it calls the set gamecaster info and you press space to edit make sure both these are uh, checked otherwise the uh, the executable in the end will have a different uh, size and uh, that could cause problems so what you want to do is you want to type here uh, jmp a space and then paste in the address that we just copied uh, from below so that's this address 86c <laughs> So make sure that's all checked and press OK. And it'll change some things. You don't want to change the rest. So instruction is the same size. Now you just press console. And uh, what the program will do now, as you can see by the arrow the disassembler gives, it will, once it gets to the point where it normally would change your Twitch stream title, it would, it will just jump uh, to past the point where it would normally have checked, OK, did we do all right? and move on with the rest of the program, which is what you want to do. Now, once you've done this, you want to click on the little uh, plaster or the, the, the bandage, the band-aid here called patches. It will detect automatically all the changes you've made. Uh, just leave everything checked on like this and click patch file. Now you want to select another file again. So you might want to make another copy of it because I think if you click the same file you've opened and you want to replace it, it says, no, I, I can't, I can't do that. So we will just, it can't do it because it's open in the, in the, in the disassembler already. So and what we will do is we will, I'll try to show you this, right? So we're, we're back in the directory here. So we'll make another copy of the file. We're currently ed editing. So it's now called uh, to copy. Dot exe. And it shows up in the save dialog here as well. Just save it as that, replace it. Right, now, files patched, patches are applied. There you go. Now all you need to do, all that's left to do is to rename the file you just patched. You, you can see, if you, if you check the date modified, so if you can't see this, right? Right click in the, uh, in the Explorer window, select view details make sure you're in that view then if you still can't see date modified right click on the on the top bar and then make sure date modified is actually selected uh, don't confuse it with date date created that's a different one so make sure you've got your file that you just patched recognizable by the most recent date modified setting and then you want to replace your original NVIDIA NVSP cap64.exe with the one you just patched. Now, what you want to make sure is that it's not running currently. So I can't do this right now because I'm recording this using Shadowplay. But what you can do is you can open the task manager. I'll just open it up again. Uh, there's many ways to do this. You can right click the, the, your taskbar in Windows and select task manager. You can also press control shift escape will also open up the task manager. Also Windows 7, Windows 10, doesn't matter, Windows 8. Then you want to go to details and make sure that the process NVS caps 64.exe is not running. Now, as you can see, it's running for me because I'm running uh, Shadowplay at the moment. What I found is if you open the GeForce experience and you just uh, uh, make sure you're not streaming or, or, or recording or anything, you just press this button, then uh, Shadowplay will disable. You can actually leave this G GeForce experience window open and you'll see that at one point 
this process will just uh, kill itself. If, if it doesn't, you can just click end task. I won't do that here, of course. Now, the reason why I've got two of them open is I'm, I'm using this one that I just patched for myself to record this uh, video. And this one is open because it's been opened by x64dbg. So once you've replaced that file, what you want to do is this is the original. You just want to rename it to, I don't know, adult or, or something, whatever you want to do, as long as it doesn't have the same name. Uh, if you can't see the extensions, I guess you can go into options and then into view. And you want to make sure that the option hide extension for known file types is not checked. Otherwise, it's really difficult if you rename it to something like dot old or to find the original extension anymore. So just do that. What you want to do then is if you rename after you rename the original one, the one you just patched again, recognizable by date modified, you want to just uh, rename it to the original name of the file like this. Make sure you don't have any extra dots. And then you'll find that if you run it, it won't change your Twitch title or the game you're playing anymore, which is lovely. All right, good luck. Maybe I'll include a link to uh, uh, the patch file so you don't have to do all this work anymore. But as they say, it's better to uh, teach a man how to fish. So in the future, uh, uh, released by NVIDIA, you might be able to do this by yourself. Good luck and thank you very much for watching.